time. But first, maybe I should take you back just a little bit. That's how we got to here. After building the base of my bed and test fitting it in the van in the last episode, I had to do just a few minor adjustments so it would lay completely flat on the floor as it had a little bit of a rock. And then I was able to move on to finalizing the bed build and moving back into my van. So you're going to cut in the middle of the green? Nope, on the edge of the green. Well, uh, this edge? Yeah. But and this is the vary because the tape is not square or flat. Okay, but you got the metal down as the guide. Metal is the guide. The tape is hopefully the anti fray. Um splinter. <laughs> There's no uh, um, fraying of the... Yeah. Hi, bud. Thank you. Hi. So precious. So... Did we do a good job? Do see how there's a variance in the line here? Yeah. It's still square. It's just if I cut it there, it wouldn't have lined up and flipped it over. Ah, okay. yeah, yeah. So yeah, the next yeah. trip is, trick is to move it into there. Yeah. And... I was still going to have to cut out the um, door. Yeah. But like tomorrow. Well, yeah, let's mark it out there, and then we mark out underneath where the wood is on the plywood, yeah. after the plywood, or before we screw down the plywood, we'll clamp it, and we'll mark out where the wood is, and then we'll put the cut line in the center of the wood so that it'll load the weight properly. Yeah, so the door, because like I built this so that the door can like load on here. Yeah. Well, I still have a bunch of work to do on the van and in here, obviously, but it's at a stage where for tonight I can sleep in my own bed in my van and try out the new orientation. And then tomorrow I will be back to the basement because I will be painting for a few days. But yeah, it's uh, exciting. Get to sleep here. All the curtains are down, so I think the light will probably wake me up pretty early, but I actually have to go to town tomorrow. But yeah, I'm just going to uh, snuggle up to Frank. He's right here. <laughs> and I uh, just watch a bit of YouTube and uh, call it an early night. <laughs> oh, you got a new toy and Alice took her ball. That was nice of you to give Alice the ball she wanted, Frank. Yeah, I like that one too. You get to use your paws. Back to the supervisor. You know, you didn't have to get dressed up to come to work, Frank. Ah, it's 
Snazzy perfection. Cheesy. This is the most important tool to grace the plants. <laughs> Hold it down from there. I'm a clamp. Have all we in. <laughs> so clamp it up. Here you go. Yay. Good morning, Frank. Hi. You had a big sleep in. It's very nice. Well, it was really nice sleeping in my own bed in my van for the last two nights, but if I don't uh, move out of it for a few more nights, I'll never get this project finished. So I moved my bed back down to the basement. I actually just take my bed from the van and put it on top of the spare bed in the basement. So it's still kind of my bed. And I'll be out of it for a few more nights to uh, finish off the bed surface. So I'm just going to be sanding it with uh, 120 around the edges. And then I'm gonna go over the whole surface with uh, like something finer just to get it super smooth and clean of dirt and grease and stuff. And then begin painting. Did you report for duty today as supervisor, Frank? Looks like you did. We got Alice on guard duty. It is painting time. Oh, isn't that cool? I wish that's what it looked like in the final product. Uh, extra exciting because once this has a couple coats and is dry I will be living in my van for the rest of the project <sighs> so if you're thinking Amanda that is way too much purple in your van you're wrong there's no such thing but actually none of this will be seen it's just for the purposes of sealing the wood and I happen to have the paint because you know what so And now we let this dry and come back for round two. Round two. Very nice, and I've gotten out of my work clothes. <laughs> Look at you! You're so fast, Frank! Look at you! You love the rail trail! So we've just uh, come to the rail trail for a little walk. It's near the post office, so I had to drop off some stuff at the post office. And now we're just going for a little stroll, and he's moving very well today, actually. He's like having little runs uh to like get ahead of me a bit to sniff so it's really nice to see should we go home and get to painting frank <laughs> so I do have to paint in the van though the uh, old bed platform so I've uh, washed that down and while it's drying I'm going to paint this I like painting it's really relaxing painting sanding wood filling I learned I really enjoy all of that can't wait to start moving in
Well, I'm done for the day. Really not a lot to do. Just a couple quick coats of paint. Tomorrow it'll be dry. I can do the install. I can start moving in. So I'm just chilling on the couch. It's just started raining and my dad is mowing the lawn. Good afternoon. This morning, my dad and I went into town to the Kootenai Rock and Gem and Fossil show and sale. So that was quite a bit of fun. There was a lot of rocks to look at. It was really overwhelming and I picked up some pretty nice pieces for myself that I've had my mind on for a while but I will show you those later because right now I'm going to put the top of my bed in, screw it down, attach the latch and then I can start moving back in. The renovations are not complete as I'm sure you can tell but I will get to live in my van for the rest of the project so it's very exciting and you'll get to see uh, some of the reason I designed this the way that I have. So before I pin this down what I'm doing is I'm going to mark the spots I want to put screws so I don't go into other screws or into holes. And, uh, here and uh, here. Thank you, Frank. So I live here now. <laughs> yeah. My troll hole. We got both the supervisors on duty. Ready to, ready for operation move in, you guys? Buying the paddleboard for me and Frank was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back when it came to my van being too much to deal with and kind of gave me the push I needed to do this uh, redesign. And one of the first things that was included in my plans was the following paddle port cubby thing so here we go i got my paddle board i got the paddles in here and my new electric pump and the manual pump is back there and life jackets a waterproof backpack and then this is all the accessories like the fins and leash and all that kind of stuff dry bags and my little suckle sucker from paddle adventure so i'm gonna find uh some sort of uh rubber backed mat that will fill that space exactly to um so i can slide all this stuff in and out without scratching the paint to keep the floor protected and then right here i'm going to end up getting a really nice little mini rug for my doorway so this area i designed to fit these two crates and i'm going to give this one a good cleaning before i load it in and i'm not sure what i'm going to put in each of the crates but it's going to be food related stuff and then this one when i slide it out because i've built this box into it with this nice surface i can use this as a prep station because i cook sitting here in my doorway my spice rack will go back here that's something that's not changing and then you know these are going to be food stuff so this will all be like kitchen area and Cutting board storage. How about that, eh? And here, because I have this latch door, this is all gonna end up being like more storage counter stuff to come. But I can only come to like here so that my countertop can have a little overhang. So this sits perfectly. Look at that. And I have room for a crash pad in here. And I just, uh, just barely don't touch. My bun touches a little bit, but. I don't touch, so I can sit up straight while I'm working, sit on the crash pad, have a nice cozy spot to lay or sit and work, or Frank can lay here. And then I always have a crash pad on hand because I do like to go bouldering. And even though I haven't done it a lot over the last few years, I used to do it obsessively. 
like every opportunity. <laughs> so I would like to get more back into that. Um, but yeah, so now I can sit here and plan the layout of what's gonna go here. So actually I put Frankie's blankie on it and then my extra blanket's folded up and he has a very nice place to lay and stretch out and just have his own spot. If he doesn't wanna be in the bed or he can be on the bed when I'm here working. Frank, hey bud, come here, come here. Come check out this one. You can step, can you step over? Nice. Oh, yes. Good boy. Nice. You can go from bed to bed without having to step down and up. Very nice. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, bud. You like your wall spot? Yeah. Yeah, looks like you do. <laughs> good morning. It feels so good to be done with phase one of the renovation. It's a rainy day. It's been just such a rainy spring. It's rained almost every day in May while we've been here and the forecast has rain in it every day for the next two weeks and it's just like mid-teens celsius because i am in canada um but i remember last year being here and like in late may we had many days of high 30s it's such just such a drastically different season but it's beautiful because it's all greened up i was so kind of always sad about leaving the coast, leaving how lush green it is. And while it's definitely greener there than here, it's still very much more green than it normally is around here. So I really appreciate that. And yeah, I think today I'm just going to be spending some time in here, puttering about, figuring out where I want to put things, because I'm not necessarily going to put things where they were before, and just spend time in here visualizing uh, the next phase of the build. So I have like a bit of a mock-up uh, work surface set up just to figure out exactly the height that's going to feel best on my back before I build anything. So I'm going to spend some time with that this week. Before I could get very far into my day or make much progress moving stuff into my van, I started to feel really unwell. This was the day that I ended up fainting and suffering a pretty bad concussion. At the time of posting this video, it was actually more than a month ago. I'm not going to get too much into it because I shared the whole story in kind of just a sit down talk video because there was a gap in my release of videos and I also thought it was pretty important to share what the body can do, like what's what can happen? Uh, and I wanted to share my story. So I want to say a big thank you to everyone who respected my boundaries around not sharing medical advice. But yeah, it was a pretty slow bunch of days just snuggling with Frank and gazing out into the grass in the yard. And I really appreciate Frank's company and his loyalty because he didn't leave my side and it must have been pretty boring for him but he was just such an amazing companion so it took me a while before i started recording again and then slowly got back into filming and over time started to feel like myself again so that is what you're gonna see coming up next <laughs> here's a frank <laughs> Hi. Where are you? <laughs> are you like a little snake? A little sneaky testing the air with your tongue? Hi, bud. You're the cutest. Thanks for your company. Thanks for making me smile. I'm so cute. Oh, good morning. Um, it is day nine. 
after hitting my head. And my first time talking to the camera again. <laughs> my parents said I have more color in my face than I have. And two days ago, I managed to comb my hair. It's probably getting tangly again. And yesterday I did something. Um, I just don't remember what it was. And today... I'm going to try to open up a package I got yesterday, um, the very nice people at Moonshade sent me a Moonshade. They sent it for Frank because as he gets older the heat is really hard for him and it just keeps raining here and so I can't have my doors open and it gets kind of stuffy in here, I have no airflow. so. Then I can have the doors open. So that's my big goal for today is to set up the moonshade or to see about it, open it. It's been good to just be in here actually and I really like where my bed is now and I have lots of space off the edges of it and I can stretch out. Are you super cozy, Frank? Yeah. You took all the blankies. You have all of them, Frank. You have five blankies right now. It was really nice to finally not get dizzy every time I was upright for more than a couple minutes and be able to walk around the yard paying attention to the little things and taking photos and videos of them. Are you so happy, Frank? Yeah, bud. Come on. Let's continue our walk, buddy. Hi. Hi. Hi, Frank. <laughs> Did you just flop in the shade? We've left the yard <laughs> for the first time since I hit my head, so a big day it's exciting and I brought my <clears throat> drone to fly because I really want to get good at flying it but this morning I finished setting up the moonshade that I started yesterday it's not hard to set up I just uh yeah I started and then I think it got windy I didn't want to deal with it so but I got changed. <laughs> I'm out of my pajamas for the first time in like 10 or 11 days and I made my bed. So it's a big, big day today. It's very nice to get out of the fence and it's rained so much for weeks. <laughs> I'm excited to see all the green things. so exciting Frank <laughs> look at your tongue that is so cute It's pretty warm out. It's really nice to be in the sun today after so much rain, but it is a little intense. But it's nice to be back here and it feels like I'm coming back to life 
The flowers are so nice. Yeah, it's really good. Really nice to uh, get to do something with Frank. It's been so boring for him and he won't leave me to go for a walk with other people. So I either take him or he doesn't go. So yeah, we'll just have a little break here. And we're gonna make our way back to the house, Frank. be really nice if all the rain we've had brought more mushrooms or a long mushroom season so I'm keeping my eye out but I'm more so keeping my eye out for elk because there's a herd of elk that lives in these woods in the this time of year and in the fall and right now they have a bunch of babies so we're gonna be very protective and I think that makes them a lot more dangerous than bears but I did also see fresh bear poop so just uh, moving slowly and being very aware. <laughs> if you have a dog that lost it over that squirrel footage, I am sorry, but it was so nice to see Frank more lively and excited, especially after a couple boring weeks, but he's a pretty big fan of squirrel chasing and squirrel watching over the years. He's spent hundreds of hours <laughs> sitting at the base of trees, watching and barking, and he used to like climb the trees. So uh, he's stopped that, which is great because it's really hard on his joints, but it was just so nice to see him. Super happy. Uh, that last scene was three weeks ago now, so I'm feeling a lot better. I haven't been super motivated to work on renovations, but I have been getting out on the back roads and paddling, so I'm super excited to share that footage with you in the coming episodes. Before I go, I just wanted to say that this video was actually the first video I've edited with Final Cut Pro. I got Final Cut Pro months ago and have slowly been teaching myself to it, teaching it to myself. <laughs> uh, and it's pretty daunting. There's a lot of buttons, a lot of options, there's a lot of things to figure out. So I've just been slowly working on like tiny little things and playing around behind the scenes, but it just felt yeah, like I said, daunting to make the switch to doing an entire video, and it was. It took way longer to edit this video than normal, but I'm so excited about the potential. The drone was the big motivator to make the switch because it's it's just so hard, uh, iMovie, to process the drone footage, and then especially drone and GoPro footage, like, they, they were just, I don't know. <laughs> it was just too much for iMovie, even though I have a very fast computer, so yes. Final Cut Pro, and uh, look what I learned how to do. So that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed coming along with the rest of phase one and starting to move back into my van and just some beautiful backwoods scenery. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. You might have heard about a internet bill thing that's been plowed through here in Canada uh, by the person in charge of our country and uh, it has the potential to be really devastating for Canadian YouTubers even though YouTube tried to talk uh, sense into Canada saying that like their system is what's best for Canadian YouTubers um, they decided to just completely ram this bill through with like no public consultation or anything uh, using the guise of uh, promoting Canadian content in order to sneak in all this stuff about uh, yeah censoring free speech and that kind of stuff on the internet so it's really disappointing but it does have the power to uh, really negatively affect my channel and the channel of Canadian content creators and really limit our reach so uh, long story short how that would happen is that by forcing Canadian content on Canadian viewers, you are potentially showing content to people that isn't what they're interested in because you need to show them Canadian content. If they don't click on the video, it lowers your reach everywhere else because YouTube's algorithm is going to think that nobody's interested in your video because they're showing it to the wrong people because Canada insists on showing them Canadian content. So that's how that would work. Uh, so. 
the best thing you can do if you want to make sure you keep seeing my videos is to be subscribed click the notification bell thing so you get notified when i put up videos you can follow me on instagram which is tideline to alpine because i pretty much always share when i post a video there and if you want to help me continue to grow my audience, um, sharing my channel, sharing my videos with friends, family, wherever is greatly appreciated. So yeah, I thought I would just take a little moment to talk about that because it is something that a lot of Canadian creators are stressed about. So those tips I shared for making sure you see my videos and continue to help my channel grow. Those apply to all Canadian creators that you love. I know a lot of people love watching Canadian van lifers in particular. So we are all in the same boat with this. And I'm sure just like myself, we all really appreciate your support and your viewership as the vast majority of our viewership is outside of Canada. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this video. So we'll see you soon. Bye. If you're looking for something else to watch today, I thought it'd be fun to go back to one year ago from the posting of this video and suggest you watch the video I posted almost the exact same time, actually two days later than today, but you can check it out here. I had a really nice time down by the river. I'm looking forward to getting back there someday, hopefully this summer, or you can check out this video, which I'm letting YouTube decide as best recommended for viewer setting. Anyways, hope you enjoy one of those. See you soon. <laughs>